Hello everyone. Our topic of discussion today is synthesis of polycarbonates (ABS) and specific applications in industries. This topic is submitted and presented by Sarvesha Babu M, first year, Department of Biotechnology. Coming to our first topic, polycarbonates. Polycarbonates or PCs are a group of thermoplastic polymers containing carbonate groups in their chemical structures. Polycarbonates used in engineering are strong, tough materials and some grades are optically transparent. They are easily worked, molded and thermoformed. We will now learn about the structure of polycarbonates. Polycarbonates receive their name because they are polymers containing carbonate groups. Carbonate group is nothing but C double bond O groups. There are n number of C double bond O bonds in this polymers. Moving on to the next slide, we can learn about the synthesis of polycarbonates. Polycarbonate is synthesized from bisphenol A and phosgene. This is the structure of bisphenol A. The IUPAC name of bisphenol A can be given as 4,4 prime propane 2,2 diyl diphenol. And this is the structure of phosgene. Phosgene is also called as carbonyl dichloride. In the structure of phosgene, we can observe the carbon chloride bond length is 174 picometers and the carbon oxygen bond length is 118 picometers and the bond angle between the carbon chloride bonds is 111.8 degrees now let's learn about the step 1 in synthesis of polycarbonates now we are only going to worry about the bisphenol a right now we will get back to the phosgene later first step in making a polycarbonate is treating bisphenol a with sodium hydroxide the hydroxyl group is go- going to do what bases do that is it swipes a proton away from the bisphenol a when this happens hydroxyl group becomes a water molecule and the bisphenol a an alcohol will find itself in the form of its sodium salt then the same reaction happens again on the other alcohol group of bisphenol a in this animation you can find the deprotonation reaction happening in this step the end product of this step one is disodium salt of bisphenol a also called as diphenoxide now that the bisphenol a is a salt it can go to work on the phosgene do you remember the phosgene you see that oxygen in the bisphenol a salt now has a negative charge on it this means it can donate a pair of electrons to the carbon atom in the phosgene remember that carbon is lacking electron density because it is next to that electronegative oxygen when that carbon gets a new pair of electrons from bisphenol a salt it lets go of one of the pairs it had been sharing unequally with the carbonyl oxygen this pair rests itself on that oxygen giving it a negative charge then the electrons on that oxygen will shift back down to the carbon reforming the carbon oxygen double bond of course we know that the carbon can't share 10 electrons so it has to get rid of two the two electrons to get removed are the pair the carbon has been sharing with one of the chlorine atoms so the chlorine and the electrons get removed out of the molecule the molecule were left with is called a chloroformate i repeat the molecule with which we are left is called a chloroformate as for the chloride ion that got removed out it will team up with that sodium ion that's been hanging around quietly during all this reactions to form NaCl or sodium chloride
This chloroformate can get attacked by another molecule of the bisphenol A just as phosgene was attacked. A second molecule of bisphenol A can attack just as the first molecule did. And it goes through a similar intermediate and a similar game of electron musical chairs to get the carbonate containing species as shown. After all this happens, the salt groups on the big new molecule can form, react with more phosgene and in this way the molecule grows until we get the polycarbonate. Eventually we are left with our polycarbonate macromolecule. To sum up all the reactions in this step 2, we can just say the diphenoxide that is Na2 OC6H4 the whole twice CME2 reacts with phosgene to give a chloroformate which is subsequently attacked by another phenoxide. The net reaction from this diphenoxide is given in the slide. Diphenoxide reacts with phosgene to give polycarbonate with some amount of sodium chloride. The animation of the whole step is provided in this slide. Coming to the properties of polycarbonates. First one, toughness and high impact strength. Polycarbonate has high strength making it resistant to impact and fracture. Further providing safety and comfort in applications that demand high reliability and performance. The polymer has density 1.2 to 1.22 gram per centimeter cube, maintains toughness up to 140 degrees Celsius and down up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Also, polycarbonates are virtually unbreakable. Coming to the next property of polycarbonate is transmittance. Polycarbonate is an extremely clear plastic that can transmit over 90% of light as good as glass. Polycarbonate sheets are available in a wide range of shades that can be customized depending on an end user application. The next property is light weight. This feature allows virtually unlimited possibilities to the OEMs to design uh, as compared with glass. The property also allows to increase efficiency, make installation process easier and reduce overall transportation costs. The next property of polycarbonate is protection from ultraviolet radiations. Polycarbonates can be designed to block UV radiation and provides 100% protection from harmful UV rays. The next property is chemical resistance. Polycarbonates exhibit good chemical resistance against dilute acids, aliphatic hydrocarbons and alcohols, moderate chemical resistance against oils and greases. Polycarbonate is readily attacked by dilute alkalis, aromatic and halogenated hydrocarbons. Manufacturers recommend to clean the PC sheet with certain cleaning agents which do not affect its chemical nature. It is sensitive to abrasive alkaline cleaners. The next property is optical nature. For having amorphous structure, polycarbonate offers excellent optical properties. Refractive index of polycarbonate is 1.584, which is almost closer to glass. The next property is heat resistance. Offering good heat resistance, polycarbonates are thermally stable up to 135 to 140 degrees Celsius. Further, heat resistance can be improved by adding flame retardants without impacting material properties. Our next topic is applications of polycarbonate in industries. Polycarbonate is mainly used for electronic applications that capitalize on its collective safety features. 
being a good electrical insulator and having heat resistant and flame retardant properties it is used in various products associated with electrical and telecommunications hardware it can also serve as a dielectric in high stability capacitors here are few pictures of the applications of polycarbonates in industries Moving on to the next application, the second largest consumer of polycarbonate is the construction industry. Example, it is used for dome lights, flat or curved glazing and sound walls, which all use extruded flat solid or multi-wall sheet or corrugated sheet. The third application is that a major application of polycarbonate is the production of compact discs also known as CDs and DVDs and Blu-ray discs. These discs are produced by injection molding polycarbonate into a mold cavity that has on one side a metal stamper containing a negative image of the disc data while the other mold side is a mirrored surface. These pictures give an example of polycarbonates used in construction and here is the different layers of CDs or compact discs. The first layer is a polycarbonate disc layer which has the data encoded by using lands and pits above which a reflective layer is placed on which a lacquer layer is used to prevent oxidation above which a artwork or any printings to label the CDs are printed. Then the fourth application of polycarbonate is that in the automotive industry injection molded polycarbonate can produce very smooth surfaces that make it well suited for sputter deposition or evaporation deposition of aluminium without the need for a base coat. Decorative vessels and optical reflectors are commonly made of polycarbonate. Due to its low weight and high impact resistance, polycarbonate is the dominant material for making automotive headlamp lenses. It can be laminated to make bulletproof glass, although bullet resistance is more accurate for thinner windows such as it are used in bullet resistant windows and automobiles. Here are few pictures of bulletproof glasses. A special case where polycarbonate was used was the cockpit canopy of the Lockhead Martin F-22 Raptor jet fighter which was made of a single piece of highly optical quality polycarbonate and it is the largest piece of its type formed in the world. Kirita Api Indonesia, the major railway operator in Indonesia uses polycarbonate solid sheet for their engine and passenger cars fleet since 2016 due to high train stone throwing frequency. The picture on the left is the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor jet fighter and on the right is the Indonesian Railway. Our next polymer of interest is ABS, an expanded acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene BS, whose chemical formula is C8H8BOLX, C4H6 the whole Y, C3H3 and the whole Z. It is a common thermoplastic polymer. Its glass transition temperature is approximately 105 degrees Celsius or 221 degree Fahrenheit. ABS is amorphous and therefore has no true melting point. ABS is a terpolymer made by polymerizing styrene acrylonitrile in the presence of butadiene. You can see in the images common applications of ABS. Coming to the structure of ABS, 
The proportions can vary from 15 to 35 percent of acrylonitrile, 5 to 30 percent of butadiene, and 40 to 60 percent of styrene. The result is a long chain of polybutadiene crisscrossed with shorter chains of polystyrene coacrylonitrile. The nitrile groups from neighboring chains being polar attract each other and bind the chains together making ABS stronger than pure polystyrene. The image on the left is the bond line structure of ABS. The image on the right is branched chain structure of ABS. Moving on to the next topic, synthesis of ABS. ABS is derived from acrylonitrile, butadiene and styrene. Acrylonitrile is a synthetic monomer produced from propylene and ammonia. Butadiene is a petroleum hydrocarbon obtained from the C4 fraction of steam cracking. Styrene monomer is made by dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene, a hydrocarbon obtained in the reaction of ethylene and benzene. Radical polymerization of styrene, butadiene and acrylonitrile gives us the ABS polymer. Next, moving on to the properties of ABS, the first property is that the most important mechanical properties of ABS are impact resistance and toughness. A variety of modifications can be made to improve impact resistance, toughness and heat resistance. The second property is that the impact resistance can be amplified by increasing the proportions of polybutadiene in relation to styrene and also acrylonitrile although this causes changes in other properties. The third property, impact resistance does not fall off rapidly at lower temperature. Stability under load is excellent with limited loads. Fourth property, they are soluble in esters, ketones and ethylene dichloride. ABS is flammable when it is exposed to high temperature such as those of a wood fire. It will melt and then boil, at which point the vapors burst into intense hot flames. Since pure ABS contains no halogens, its combustion does not typically produce any persistent organic pollutants. And the most toxic products of its combustion or pyrolysis are carbon monoxide and hydrogen cyanide. ABS polymers are resistant to, to aqueous acids, alkalis, concentrated hydrochloric and phosphoric acids, alcohols, but they are swollen by glacial acetic acid, carbon tetrachloride and aromatic hydrocarbons and they are attacked by concentrated sulfuric and nitric acid. Even though ABS plastics are used largely for mechanical purposes, they also have electrical properties that are fairly constant over a wide range of frequencies. These properties are little affected by temperature and atmospheric humidity in the acceptable operating range of temperatures. The aging characteristics of the polymers are largely influenced by the polybutadiene content and it is normal to include antioxidants in the composition. Other factors include exposure to ultraviolet radiation which additives are also available to protect against. The last topic of this discussion will be applications of ABS in industries. ABS lightweight and ability to be injection molded and extruded make it useful in manufacturing products such as drain waste vent that is DWV pipe systems, musical instruments like recorders, plastic obes and clarinets and piano movements. Golf club heads because of its good shock absorbance, automotive trim components and automotive bumper bars. Here are the few 
pictures of objects where ABS is used. Moving on to the next application, it is also used in medical devices for blood access, enclosures for electrical and electronic assemblies, protective headgear, white water canoes, buffer edging for furniture and joinery panels, luggage and protective carrying cases, small kitchen appliances and toys including Lego and Creo bricks. These images are objects in which ABS is used. The next application which is setting a new trend in this modern world is 3D printing. Yes, ABS plastic is a common material used in 3D printers. It is a material commonly used in personal or household 3D printing which is done using primarily FDM or triple F 3D printers. This common thermoplastic material is popular because it is easy to use with a desktop 3D printer. Here are a few images of 3D printing. Acknowledgement I would like to thank our chemistry professor Dr. Vishnumurthy K.A. for giving us an opportunity to learn about polycarbonates and acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Bibliography is as shown in the slide. The links to videos videos of synthesis of polycarbonate and ABS is being shared in the description box below. And also there is an interesting video about 3D printing there. Please do look out for it. And thank you for watching.